Welcome everyone back to the Brick Tech Studio. I hope you're having a glorious day today. And you may notice I start my videos off like that quite a bit, and it's only because I truly wish that for you. But for today, if you don't mind, I'd like to be a little bit selfish and explain why I'm having a glorious day today. It's because of this right here. Yesterday, after about a month of working on it, I finally finished Lego Ideas Set 21318 the treehouse. And this was sent to us by Matt Donovan, who I think called me out yesterday in the quarantine stream that I've complained more about building this set than any other person's complained about a Lego set in the history of the world. And I think he's right about that. This set to me, this is a 16 plus set. And I'll be honest with you, I'm a little bit older than that, but my skill level is well beyond, or below that, not beyond that. My skill level is probably between Lego Juniors and Lego City. So needless to say, this build right here, building all of these brown pieces and all these pods and all of this foliage here, this really got the best of me. It took me forever to build this. I didn't enjoy much of any of it at all. And I hope I don't offend Matt by saying that. I think he's already heard me say it. But what was keeping me driven to keep doing this is because when it's finally built, as you guys can see here, this is a fantastic display model from every angle. It looks glorious. I had some debate whether I was going to build it with the fall leaves, but everyone seemed to really enjoy the summer ones, and I do too. I think it looks really cool. So this set was, it was something else, man. It was, it was troublesome for me, but we got it done. I do have a couple extra pieces that I probably shouldn't have, and I know that I messed up some of these branches somewhere with like some intricate pieces here and there. But overall, if you just kind of step back and take a look at it, it does look really awesome, but I have to say, I am so happy to finally be done with this and just, just have it on display, because that's what I really wanted. As much as I joke about the complications of this build and how I can't handle it, mainly it came down to just kind of boredom, like building this entire section was like six bags. And I guess I just like to move on to things a little bit quicker, like building the Crater Harley, which is my last big build. That was fun because of the variety on that, but this kind of just felt like building the same thing as I went up and up, and then building these things kind of felt like the same thing. Each one of these was like two bags, and then this was just that was the icing on the cake so yeah that's that's uh that's kind of the real reason i felt this way even though partially it was just because it was it was a little complicated i suppose so that's how i feel about the treehouse and i can already feel the comments coming in i can read them in my mind already of the people that are like greg that is so rude someone sent that to you how dare you say that you didn't enjoy the build why aren't you more appreciative of the things that you get. And here's the deal. I am very appreciative of that, but I also think it's important to be honest. I don't think it's doing anyone a service to say, oh, Matt, thank you so much for this. I had so much fun building this and put on this fake front. That's not me. And that's the thing, like if any company ever came to me and was like, hey, Greg, I, I would love you to review this thing or do this thing, even if it was Lego themselves, I would give my 100% honest opinion because that's what I'm basing this entire YouTube life off of that I've built here is authenticity, being real, being honest. People appreciate that. People want more of that and there should be more of that. So Matt, I'm sorry if this offended you or anyone else that's watching this. If you feel like I should have given like a false review of this, I do like it as a display piece, but the build itself, at least for me, and this is just my opinion, I talked to other people in the streams that have loved the build of this, it's just my opinion, that's how I feel about it. And I think that's fair, and I think I have the right to share that. So Matt, thank you so much for sending this. It's gonna look fantastic here in the studio, and I'm just happy at this point to, to be able to say that. But that does take us to the next thing that we need to do, and I'm still doing these quarantine streams on BrickTech Live if you're not subscribed. What are you doing with your life? You probably do have a life, but if you don't have a life, Brick Tech Live every day at like one o'clock, two o'clock, I'm doing live streams of things that I'm building, like the treehouse for like the last week, but I'm ready to move on, as you can probably tell, and I can only think of one thing that we could possibly move on to. Well, there's actually a lot of things, but I can think of one thing that I really wanna move on to. That takes us to the unboxing portion of today's video, and this set is Lego Creator Set, 10271. This is the Fiat 500. Recently picked this up. I'm sure you guys have seen this set, whether it be on my channel or any other channel. It's a Crater Expert set, and I love these scale vehicles. I think these are fantastic. I'm actually going to be building this set up this afternoon, at least the first part of this on BrickTech Live, which will have already happened by the time you watch this, but that doesn't mean you can't subscribe and catch the future videos because again, we're going to be streaming there for weeks and weeks. And when I'm done with this, we're going to be going to Apocalypseburg, which is down there. That's going to be for a future video though. Let's unbox this and see what's inside here so I can get it all ready for today. I think this is going to be a good build. This is only 960 pieces. And you might be saying like, Greg, there's a lot of yellow on there. Sure, you're not going to be bored with this. I don't think so. I think there's a lot to this that there's a lot to love and I'm stoked on it. I think this is going to be fantastic, but we won't know until we unbox it which segues to this clip right now. Let's get to it here. The Fiat 500. Looks like a little lemon, doesn't it? 
a little bit of a lemon, maybe a banana, probably a lemon. I'll put a pull at the top. My most ridiculous pull of all time. There's the unboxing. Here's our stickers. Not, not terrible with the stickers, but we'll open this up and I'll show you what you can expect in this. There you go. The one is from the easel that's out front. I really love that little side piece there. I oftentimes call this filler, but in this case, I love that. I love the paints. I love the paintbrush. Looks cool. These stickers are kind of bothersome, but these right here are gonna look great on that luggage. You also have the interior stickers. You've got plates to choose from. Which one did they put on this? I'll probably go with whatever they did. That's the one that they put on. I'll probably do the same. I think the black looks good on there. What do we have here? Oh, that color would have been nice too, huh? Did like that light blue or whatever, or the, I don't know what you wanna call that. It's not green, it's not blue, it's not teal. What is that color? Leave it as a comment down below after you're finished liking the video. See what I did there? But here's the heritage. Le Patrimonia El Legato. I can do that one, I can pull that off. But here's some information on Fiat if you wanna read that. I won't bore you with that, but as a self-proclaimed nerd, I probably will go back and read that. What color do you guys like the most on here? It's looking pretty cool. I think I like I think I like that the best, but that's just my opinion. Let's keep going here. The challenge. This is neat. I love Creator Expert. I love ideas in Creator Expert. I think those are my two favorites. There's that color again. You're like, Greg, who cares? Is this the modern version of this? That's really interesting. The more things change, the more they stay the same, guys. Let's get into the actual build and see what we're looking at here. Of course, a lot of technique to start out with to build the base, which in bag one, that's what we're doing there. Bag two, bag three, and that's it. Wow, three bags. These bags are pretty substantial considering there's only three, but yeah, it shouldn't be too bad to build this. I'm excited about this, especially coming off the treehouse. I think this is gonna be a breath of fresh air that I desperately need after hours of working on that. I was doing it on all of our patron live streams on Friday nights, which speaking of Patreon, if you wanna see Clarkman review this set right here, Patreon video is available right now. Come join us over there. $5 a month will get you access to that. And it helps the channel out quite a bit too. But here's our bag situation. We got some twos, we got some threes, we got some ones. That's it. One, two, three. I'm hoping to get through at least this today, but I'm ideally going to build this between today and tomorrow on the live streams. We do like an hour, an hour and a half each day. We'll see how quickly I can get through this. I'm notoriously slow at building, but I'm okay with that. I take my time. I enjoy the build in most cases, talking to you Treehouse. But yeah, I'll have fun with this one. And I'm excited to report back on you and show you what this is like. Again, if you want to see us building a lot of stuff, Brick Tech Live is the place to do it. So you got a couple jobs ahead of you here. One, subscribe to Brick Tech Live so you can see the live streams, including Apocalypseburg next week, which is right there. Two, go to our Patreon, become a patron so you can see Clark review this set along with a lot of other stuff and private live streams. And three, leave a like on this video and leave a comment because I really do appreciate hearing from you guys. And it's just really nice to know that people are out there watching this. Look at Brickitech putting you guys to work. You don't have to do any of those things. Those are all optional. The only thing that I really hope came out of this is that you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed me talking about the treehouse or complaining about it one last time. And I hope you're excited as I am to see this thing build up. And I'll give you my official opinion on this one too when it's all finished up. And we'll add it to my collection, which I will show you the updated collection here of the cars. Let's get some light on the situation over here and show you what's going on. There's the collection, starting with the Mini Cooper, the Volkswagen camper van, the Beetle, the Mustang, and last but not least, the Harley Fat Boy, and pretty soon, the Fiat parked right here, as long as this guy's willing to move over a little bit. Awesome, I love these vehicles. I need to get everything that Lego's made in this scale, and I'll be buying everything that's coming up in the future. I mean, seriously, Lego, if I bought a Fiat, I'll probably buy pretty much anything you put out in this scale. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a glorious day today, and we'll see you in the next video.